All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So, okay. The Board of Education approves not to exceed transfers of a fund balance as detailed in the Friday mailing. Reserve, and I'm going to read it in two count columns. So it's going to be the reserve, and the, no the next number will be the dollar amount not to exceed. So the capital reserve not to exceed three million five hundred thousand. Employee retirement contribution not to exceed three million five hundred thousand. Workers' compensation not to exceed seven hundred thousand. So moved. Moved by Mr. Press. Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Are there any comments or questions on this? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The Board of Education approves the contract extension with Dr. Sue Ann Cowell Connolly, you think I should know how to say that by now, for the 2016-17 school year at a cost of $40,000 as detailed in the Friday mail. So moved. Moved by Mr. Press. Second. Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Any questions or comments? Mr. Reska. Mrs. Oh, Dereska. gosh, I'm sorry, Mr. Reska. Sorry. <laughs> I knew it was Dereska. I don't, I don't, I don't. Anyway, like yeah, I know. Just to like. All those, any questions or comments on this item? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The Board of Education approves the agreement with Project Lead the Way for, gate, for the Gateway Medical Detectives Program, a pre-academy course at the middle school for 2016-17 school year as detailed in the Friday mail -in. Moved by Mr. Press. Second. Second by Mrs. Dereska. Any questions or comments on this item? Uh, yes, there are many units. Uh, we're starting with one of the units, okay. and yes, it does include the cost. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments on this item? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. The Board of Education approves the agreement with Wendy, oh man, Junk Younger, to provide two days of staff development training at a total cost for both days of $1,000 as detailed in the Friday mailing. Moved by Mr. Press. Second. Second by Ms. O'Hagan. Any questions or comments on this item? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The Board of Education approves the health and welfare services contracts for the 2015-16 school year as detailed in the Friday mailing. Belmore Union Free School District, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, there's a number of nine students, it's $991.10 .10 per pupil for a total of $8,919. Manhasset Union Free School District, St. Mary's Elementary, five students, St. Mary's High School, 24 students, 29 students, $810.59 per pupil, $23,507.11. Mineola Union Free School District, Solomon Sh Sec Sector. Sector, I got it, two students at $698 per pupil, $1,396. Westboro Union Free School District, Whispering Pines, three students, St. Bridget's, six students, Holy Child, seven, for a total of 16 students, $722.74 per pupil, for a total of $11,563.84. Moved by Mrs. O'Hagan. Second. Second by Mr. Press. Are there any questions or comments on this item? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The Board of Education approves the contract with Erickson Translations Incorporation to provide translation services for 2016-17 school year as detailed in the Friday mail. Moved by Mr. Press. Second. Second by Mrs. Dereska. Are there any questions or comments on this item? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Okay, moving to business item number 27. The Board of Education approves a contract for one student attending a 4201 school for the 2016-17 school year, typo Mary, as detailed in the Friday mailing. Mill Neck Manor School, cost per student, $76,093.20. One student for a total cost of $76,093.20. Moved by Mr. Press. Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Any questions or comments on this item? All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Moving to idle. Oh, moving to use of facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
The Board of Education approves the use of facilities report for June 2016 as detailed in the Friday mailing. So moved. moved by Mr. Press. Second, Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Are there any questions or comments on this item? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye, okay. The Board of Education approves the CPSE CSC recommendations for membership for the 2016-17 school year as detailed in the Friday mailing. So moved. moved by Mr. Press. Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Are there any questions or comments on this item? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Annual review of Project Save Code of Conduct. The Board of Education approves the Project Save Code of Conduct as detailed in the Friday mailing. Moved by Mr. Press. Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Are there any questions or comments on this item? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, resolution. The Board of Education approves the following resolution as detailed in the Friday mailing. Resolved that the Board of Education herewith approves and adopts the District Annual Professional Performance Review Plan for classroom teachers and principals in compliance with the Education Law 3012D and 8NYCRR 33, 30-3, contingent upon the successful ratification of the plan by the Baldwin... Mm -hmm. Okay by the Baldwin Teachers Association and Baldwin Administrator, Administrators Association. And be it further resolved that the Board of Education authorizes the superintendent to submit the plan via the online portal to the Commissioner of Education for review. And be it further evolved, uh, revolved, resolved that the Board of authorizes the superintendent and Board of Education president to execute the joint certification Certification, mm, certification form as required for submission of the plan to the Commissioner of Education. So moved. moved by Mr. Press. Second. Second by Mrs. Doresco. Any questions or comments on this item? Oh, I we can't really just, can we just? Um, it's up one there, but. Yeah, it's, so we can get our $3 million. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Our next resolution, the Board of Education approves the resolution for the agreement between the Baldwin School District and the Baldwin Supervisors Association as detailed in the Friday mailing. So moved. moved by Mr. Press. Second by Mrs. O'Hagan. Are there any questions or comments on this item? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Does anyone have anything under other? No. All right, so before we, um, let me just turn to my, we look like we're clean. Is there any? Yeah, we have an exec. Okay, 10 minutes, five minutes. Does anybody? Well, we only did, the, we're doing the one. So if you've already spoken, that's it. So there's only new people coming up, so. Okay. All right, so we're going to do, who am I looking at? Mr. Palmer, Ms. Wilder. Okay, so I'm going to take these two people at the mic. Then we're going to close because we need to go into exec session to discuss contract uh, personnel issue. I can't, you need to turn the mic so we can pick you up. You gotta pull it off and pull it out. Sorry. Um, I just wanna say that um, Dr. Kame has done so much in the two years that she has been here and that I can't imagine that she would um, risk what she has done um, with anyone that she hires. And I am confident in anyone that you hire in this district because I feel that you have really taken Baldwin very far in the two years that you've been here. Um, the other thing that I can say is that I really believe that people who do not work hard do not like people that make them work hard. And um, 
I think that's important for, for people to note. Um, and I also feel that the board needs to know that I did my civic duty. I came out to every candidate's forum. I did research on your views and your beliefs. And then I went out and made a decision that I felt confident in when I went to the polls. And you are all sitting up here because I went out to vote. And I want you to know that I, I do have faith in you, and I thank you for what you are doing here. Thank you. Good evening, Lawrence and Palmer, 145 Delaware Avenue, Freeport. I also want to thank the board members for their service and also add on to that with regard to Dr. Kami. Uh, I'm not always comfortable with some of what the board members do or say, but on Dr. Kami, I trust her judgment on this one. Uh, I also want to add that the number of people that uh, were at the library and the number of people that were here earlier on uh, lets you know that something was wrong with the process by which this hiring was done. And I want to recommend, because I was involved when there was a hire for Brookside, my local school. I was directly involved in that, partly because I insisted that I wanted to be involved. So when the information came to my PTA, I made sure, yes, I want to be involved. I understand the way the process works in this time is that the information went to the high school PTA only, and then from them to their membership. If that's the case, I believe going forward, any decision like this that involves the high school or the middle school, which involves all of Baldwin, should go out to all the PTAs so you get a broader pool, you get more input from more people, and you don't have the situation where a lot of us are saying, what, when, where, how? Now, I try to think I keep myself generally informed, but this one I hadn't heard of. And a lot of the people who spoke, that was the same idea. We didn't know what was going on. So I think the process for the future, uh, this one is done, but for the future, I think there has to be a better and a broader outreach to get more community members involved. And to that extent, I think if you reach out to all the PTAs where it involves the high school or the middle school, would probably get some of that covered. Uh, thank you. One more thing. Uh, if I'm mistaken, I think this is Ms. Robori's last board meeting. <laughs> yes, I'm here to embarrass you. I know some of the people in the audience here probably don't always agree with her in what she's done and said no, over the I'm years, not. but I have to say some of the things that she has done directly involved in, for example, the fact that we have the meetings being videotaped and put up. Not just him. <laughs> I know there was some resistance when the idea came up, but that's one thing I'm sure was directly involved in. And the idea of openness and transparency, which again, you see what was going on here. Part of what's missing here is openness and transparency, or the perception of it from the community. That's one thing that she has pushed again and again. And over this past year, at just about every board meeting, one of the questions, what's it gonna cost us? Which is our money. So, since this is uh, probably her last board meeting, I want to know who will pick up the mantle and carry it forward. Openness and transparency and watching for our money. Ms. Rabori, damn good job. Thank you. <laughs> and just for the record, we slipped her certificate on the slide. She didn't want a big brouhaha and I was really trying to honor her request, so. <laughs> she, did, she just wanted to go out quietly into the night, but I wasn't going to stop Mr. Palmer since he went there. So. All right, so um, I don't know if I'm debating I want to do this or not. Do what? No, no, this is something. You know, I'm, I just need to make a comment before people leave. Antoinette, wait. Um, and there's not enough people. I'm just, but I'm going to say this. Um, for the last week and a half, the board, the superintendent, people in the central office have been receiving phone calls, um, being pulled aside, asked to speak to about our recent hire. 
And we've had very respectful, honest conversations with people, and we ask for that. We want that. I have no problem with people having questions about the decisions that the board makes. I don't expect people to just go along because you trust us. If you have questions, I encourage you to ask them. I don't have a problem with that. I do, however, have a problem with people coming to me in a disrespectful manner. I'm not gonna settle for that. And no one up here deserves that kind of treatment either. We give our time, we give our heart to do what's in the best interest of our children and our community. For free, not one penny. Thank you for adding that. So we understand that people in the community disagree with our decision and we respect that. We stand by our decision. We went through a thorough process, an established process that has been used to hire other district personnel. We include, we got input from our stakeholders, from teachers, from staff, from um, custodial staff, from uh, parents, as many people, and this has been the process that we've utilized. Can it use tweaking? I'm not, I'm not, oh, I'm open to looking into that. But what I'd like to say is that we were, we, we didn't take this decision lightly. This was not something we just said, you know what, we'll just leave and we'll just go along. No, we did our homework, we did our due diligence, and we stand by our decision. Only time will tell if it's the right decision. We ask that you please give our new hire a chance. And again, if it doesn't work out, because I know this woman, we've worked very closely together for two years, it was unfair of that woman to say that she was just passing through. This woman does not sleep. She gets maybe two hours of sleep, although I was surprised I texted her 10, 15 the other day and she didn't respond, so she must have been totally wiped. But she doesn't sleep. She cares deeply about the children in this community and deeply about this community. And like I said, I take issue when people go after people up here because we do this because we care. We have no hidden agenda. We do this because we love Baldwin. So on that note, like I said, I've refrained from saying anything because I didn't want anything to be for the district to be held liable for anything I've said, but I had to say something. So. I try not to, because she told me she would kick me under the table if I cry, so I'm gonna try to suck it up and move on, but I needed to say that, because I need you guys to know that this is not something we take lightly, and we respect discourse, civil discourse, but I ask that you guys give us a chance, okay? Thank you. At this moment, I need a motion. Oh, I, wait, did I read the important dates? I didn't read the important dates, so let me do that real quick. And then, important dates. Mary, did you give me those? Somewhere. Okay. So we have, we've had a lot of stuff going on thus far. Um, you know, we've been, but we've got a lot of cool stuff going on. The next BEA general meeting, the last one is on Tuesday. Um, June 22nd, 8 p.m. at the high school. Our last day of school is Friday, June 24th. We have a series of moving up ceremonies. Um, elementary schools are on Thursday the 20th, no, I'm sorry, on Friday the 24th. Um, middle school moving up ceremony, excuse me, is on June 23rd. There are two sessions, one in the morning at nine and the afternoon session is at 12.30. High school graduation, and moving up ceremonies for elementary are on Friday, June 24th. And I know you guys are gonna miss us, but the next board of meeting is on July 13th, 8 p.m. is our reorganization meeting. <laughs> they know what that's for. So at this time, I've got all the important dates, everything, we're gonna, I need a motion to move to exact session to discuss personnel issue. So moved. Moved by Mrs. Dureska. Second. Second by Mr. Press. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you everyone, have a good evening.